So that's an entire day's worth of stuff on just this section. I make it sound like a very short part of this course, just because there's another course that covers all of that. It's actually a much huger piece. So this is where the statistical rigor enters the picture. So key message, testing is the final frontier before you take your model live. If testing fails, you can only try again if you have the ability to collect a data set that is a legitimate testing data set. That means a pristine data set. If you have data constantly streaming in, you're in that lucky situation where you can always go try again. Everything is a dress rehearsal for what happens next. Whereas if you're in a situation where you have a static data set and that is all that you can use, well, if you fail testing, pens down, no more machine learning for you. Please have the strength of character, the guts, the courage to accept those results. It says this model is dead now, if, it, if testing fails. Please kill it. Don't start bargaining. Don't be like, oh, I could adjust my settings for my risk tolerance profile to let this thing sneak out. That's kind of missing the whole point. If you were going to launch it anyway, then just launch it anyway and save everyone the stress. And please don't test the same model on the new pristine data set. If your goal is to launch some poisonous rubbish, you know you can just collect a data set because you're doing statistical testing, there's some random error, right? So you collect a data set. Did I get the metric I wanted? No, throw away the data set. Don't even tell anyone I've done it. Get another data set. How did we do on this one? Keep going until one of them works out. That's the only one you tell anyone about. And off you go. Uh, the point here is that when your model fails testing, your model is dead. A different model can be te tested later with a new test data set. Not this one. This one is dead.